So this is gonna be a little different DIY than my normal stuff. There was this big like trench thing, channel, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's at the tip of our driveway. It was like seven inches deep and I got two kids. I don't want them tripping and dying. And not only that, whoever made that channel trench thingy didn't know what was up when it comes to drainage and they made it too small for what you normally put in there. So we had to figure out a way to make this safe also to make rain to go through it. And we also had to find a way to not break the bank while doing so. So if you ever have to fill a channel in your driveway or whatever, you're gonna see that right after the intro. I did was obviously try to figure out what this thing was and then I had to figure out what you normally put in it if you're going to not want people to die like your children when they trip on it and I saw online that you're supposed to put these kind of things I'll put the word there because I don't really remember again this is clueless mama D our trench was like 15 feet in length so I had to get quite a bit of these. It was gonna to come to about $200, not doll hairs, real coin. And that's a lot of money at that point. Are the children even worth it? But then I decided, yes, they are 100 each. So to keep them safe, I was prepared to do that and spend the coin. But then we fell into another problem, which was that the width of it is only three inches on this trench. And we, for the life of us, could not find anything to fit in a trench that would drain the water that was only three inches wide. So I called my little brother because he's into plumbing. He was saying the proper way to do this, so if you want to do it properly, is to actually widen the cement, to actually cut it down and widen it so that the proper drainage piece could go in there. So that is the proper way if you want to do it. And so now we're looking at renting the device to break open the cement, doing all of that. We're probably at like, I don't know, like $400. So if you know my channel, I do a lot of dollar store DIYs. So yes, your girl did head to the dollar store to see if I can find a cheaper solution to fix this. My husband thinks I'm crazy. He's like, you would have your whole, like your funeral coffin be from the dollar store. And I'm like, yeah, of course I would, I'm dead. So I went in there, I was looking around for like hard metal things that were like maybe seven inches deep that also could allow drainage. And I found quite a few different things. This is actually at Dollarama. One of the things that I found is like the little basket that you hook to your sink to put soap and sponges inside. And when nobody was looking, I looked around the store and even put it on the ground and did a whole step test and your girl did not even bend that metal and I was like okay so what if we just put a whole bunch of these upside down inside of the cracks so that the kids don't trip but then the water still goes through so so anyways the whole thing was gonna turn out to be about 66 dollars and some change and honestly without a husband that probably is where I would have stopped. But thank God I had my husband with me and he convinced me that for jobs like this, you should at least check a hardware store. We just kind of walked around endlessly to see what objects we could find that were long. You know, he looked at some long skinny black poles and he thought that maybe we could put slits in that and then the water would fall in the slits and it would go through. And then I looked at vents and I was like, hold up, these vents like fit perfect into the drainage and then they would kind of look smooth but then we'd have to buy so many of those vents. We went to the back of the store, we went outside and we're almost ready to give up and we saw these thingy mabobbers, these super long pieces of plastic that water can go through. Apparently these are called concrete forms and they're pretty affordable. So one whole long piece is actually two pieces. So we needed four pieces in total, which was so my husband did have to cut off a uh, the end of that. And then the rest of the width was three centimeters wide. 
So my husband bought those. Actually, I'm gonna get him for this part so he can tell you what he did after that. Well, what I had to do was actually grab these nuts and bolts, some at about nine inches long, some at about seven inches long, and I just kind of messed around underneath it a bit and kind of raised it where it needed to be raised, lowered it where it needed to be lowered. So it all worked out at the end, as you can surely see. How long did it take you to do it? Um, probably 15 minutes. And then what was the total cost? The total cost was about $125. It's a savings, right? It would have cost us about $300, $300 just for those parts. Mm -hmm. So not, a, not including the labor of having to cut out the cement and everything else. Mm -hmm. but. So we are not professionals on the matter. This is just what we did. I will update the pinned comment below as time goes by speak. to let you know if the water goes through properly. Speak for yourself. I am a pro. I'm a construction pro. I know what I'm doing. Oh so, my gosh. And there you go. He's clearly not modest. I don't gotta be modest. Not I, at all. I've been in the business for 25 years. But you're years. not in the water drainage business. I don't have business. to be in a drainage business. You're I, in the fix the damage from the water, not prevent I'm Mr. Hey, the hey, water hey. damage. I'm Mr. Fix It, all right? Come on now. Okay, I'm gonna put all the information for the proper way to do this if you don't have a narrow channel and the way to do it if you do have a narrow channel. All right. All right, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna see more from Clueless Mummy thrifty and affordable DIYs from someone right. who doesn't really know what they're doing all but right. somehow has a YouTube channel for them. My, my, I can't feel my legs. Oh, this guy. Till the next video, check out these videos to see some more of my fun and creative DIYs. Ooh.